Hello everybody, my name is Wunder and today I will be showing you how to increase your FPS in Terraria. Now if you didn't know, the next update that's coming out, I think it's 1.3.5 or 1.3.6. next one that's coming out, there's gonna be a lot of emphasis on making the game look nicer. For example, there's one spoiler that I saw that came out recently that was um, an example of a character walking through grass and then as he passed through grass, the grass kind of shook a little bit. This makes the game look a little bit nicer and if you know anything about gaming, especially PC gaming, then you know that the nicer a game looks the more it's gonna be taxing on your computer the slower your game is gonna run so in preparation of that I'm pretty much making a video on how to increase your Terraria FPS and uh, since Terraria is released in 2011 the game has slowly become a little bit harder to run and while I may not have problems on it you know sometimes when recording the frames kind of skip a few times but generally it's it can be a little bit taxing when you're fighting against Moon Lord next to your super complex house with a million different lights and a million, a million different things happening. And that just gets multiplied by when you're on multiplayer. So generally, Terraria can require some FPS at times, and that's why I'm going to show you how to increase your FPS in Terraria. First thing you gotta do, it's rather simple, all you have to do is go into your Steam library, right click Terraria, click properties, then go to Scent Launch Options. Here you're gonna wanna type dash high. I'm probably not gonna have that in the description because it's pretty simple. Just write high after you put a dash there and then you can click OK. And if you don't know what this does, this makes Terraria a high priority in your computer when you're running it. In other words, for example, this is a pretty useful if you usually run the game on windowed or borderless windowed because when you are on windowed, usually the priority of Terraria is half and half with the rest of your programs. So you're gonna wanna have this on high so it has the highest priority so it runs the best compared to your other background processes that you probably don't care about. Next thing we got to do, we actually have to be in Terraria to make these next few changes. Now once you're in Terraria, you're probably not going to have this uh, layout with the mods, mod sources, and mod browser. If you're wondering how to get that, I'll have it in the end card at the end of the video. It's pretty much just how to get this layout so you can download mods from directly in Terraria. It's the best way to do it. But aside from that, first thing you got to do is go into settings. Then go into video. And this is where you do pretty much all of the FPS uh, changes. First thing you're going to want to do is turn off frame skip. Now frame skip takes up a little bit of FPS in itself. But uh, usually if it's on, sometimes it can make the game just look slower. In terms of, you know, the frames are going to go slower, but your actual character is going to move slower. The game is going to be like kind of slow, but it's still going to remain at full FPS. It looks pretty weird, but if you have frame skip off, it's tr the true frames that are there. So it always looks the crispest and it always runs, you know, how it should. Lighting the worst or the lowest quality one, I guess you could say, it's not actually that bad quality. It barely changed it, in fact is uh, retro and retro just makes the colors a little bit more solid and a little bit like easier to see and things like that and because it's more solid because it's less textured a little bit it takes up less fps and it's pretty massive fps boost so i recommend that and it doesn't even look bad multi-core rendering you generally just want to turn this one off just because you want to use like four different of your cores just for the lighting of the game you know you don't need that many cores for just the lighting that just shows you how much Terraria takes up in your computer just for small things like lighting. But that aside, you're just going to want to keep that off. For quality, obviously you're going to want to turn it low because that's just the lowest that's going to make the game run the quickest. Background, this one's pretty big as well. Uh, you're going to want to turn the background off. Now the background is pretty important in the game, but if you turn it off, it has a massive FPS boost. And especially if you're underground or in the underworld, like most of these places, you're not even going to care about a background, so it's not even going to be that big of a deal. But if you really care about the background, you can keep it on. It's just a pretty big FPS boost in Terraria. Blood and Gore, this just makes a small FPS boost if you turn it off, so you might as well do that. Same as Miner's Wobble. Once you go into effects, you might as well disable all of these because uh, these are just extra effects that kind of look different and make the game look a little bit nicer. So once you got all those disabled, you have this exactly as it is here. If you actually go into resolution, you can change your resolution. Probably the lowest one is usually going to be the best for FPS. 800, 800 times 600. I'm actually on um, windowed, so I'm not going to do that because uh, the best way to record for me is going to be on windowed. So if you play on full screen, which I highly recommend, just because just generally having games in full screen will make it higher quality. But if you do that, I recommend going for the lowest possible resolution. And yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do to change your FPS from inside Terraria. Now your FPS is going to be pretty massively changed, uh, so it's going to be really important. So it's very useful when you're fighting a boss or something that really matters for you to be pinpoint accurate and just make the game a lot more fun 
if you have the more FPS. And all of these changes on top of each other, if you do every single thing I said, they do not make the game look bad, I promise. They just change the game a little bit, make the game a little bit more dull, I guess, but the change you're gonna have in FPS will make the game 100% worth it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot that you checked out my video. If you have any comments or questions or whatever you want to say, you want to suggest anything, don't forget to leave a comment. If this video is informative or you liked it, don't forget to like the video. And uh, if you like me, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys later.